Hey folks, in the garden, at last proper garden time, it's actually t-shirt weather. Today, we're going to be potting up some blueberries. Okay folks, blueberries. We have grown loads of veg over the years and had loads of fantastic success. Never, however, have I grown any kind of fruit other than strawberries. And we do love our soft fruit. We love, I put blueberries on everything if I can, but also love things, okay, big confession. I love red currants, but I love how they look. They look like gorgeous little jewels more than I love eating them. But anyway, we thought this year for a bit of fun, we're going to have a grow, grow, a grow, a go at growing some soft fruit. So I thought blueberries would be a good thing to talk to you about. Because a lot of folk try and grow blueberries and they grow the bushes. The bushes are healthy and fabulous, but they don't get any or much in the way of fruit. And there's a reason for that. Red currants, black currants, all that kind of thing. You can pretty much shove them in the garden. Nice sunny spot, keep them watered and they'll be happy. Blueberries, however, are a wee bit more delicate. So that's why I thought I'd make a good video. Okay, so the reason they're a wee bit more delicate is because they like a different type of soil. They like a soil that we call ericaceous soil. Now what that means is it's slightly acidic. And if you've got a spot in your garden where camellias and rhododendron and azaleas and that type of thing do really, really well, that's the spot for your blueberries because it's the same type of soil they like. And the other thing that happens is you pot it all up and it's doing great, but you water it from the kitchen tap. And that is a slightly alkaline or more neutral pH if you like and what that does is over time it rechanges, rechanges, it changes the balance of the pH so what started as ericaceous soil, slightly acidic soil becomes more neutral and of course the blueberries aren't happy and that's why you don't get gorgeous lots of fruit. So the trick is to water your blueberries either with slightly acidic water and not many people know about their water I accept that I'm probably weird, I know the pH of my water because I brew, so that's why I know it. But if your water is like mine, which is slightly more on the alkaline spectrum, then what you can do is you can put a tiny little bit of citric acid into your water, but it's much safer to just use rainwater. Okay, so, dead dead easy. Ericaceous soil, as I said, it's just slightly acidic, just feels like normal compost to you on your hands, you won't notice a difference. Slightly acidic, not burn your hands off acidic. So blueberries in there as always. Now these, I'm just going to pick the weeds out that are in them. I haven't grown these from seed, we've actually bought these. So we got these from uh, one of our local suppliers, comes through the post, all nice and ready to be potted up in your garden. So when you're plotting, plotting, I can't speak today, when you're potting stuff up, okay, you'll see that it's been in the pot so the roots grow round and round and round. We call that pot bound or compacted, but all you want to do is just release it a bit. You don't want to break any of the roots. All you're doing is giving them the option to change direction when they grow. Not heaps, you don't have to tear at it, but it just means that when it's in there, they now know that they can grow outwards and go and get the water they need. They're not going to keep going in that spiral. And that is it. No different from potting anything else up. Don't lose the label because these are always useful. And I've got it back on now, will I? Yeah, there we go. Don't knock off any buds because they're important. And that is one potted blueberry. Get it watered, put it in a sunny spot and wait. Once you start getting fruit, then we have to talk about netting it because the birds will nick your fruit. Blueberries. Ericaceous, slightly acidic soil. Water with rainwater, not tap water. Keep it somewhere sunny. Don't let it get soaked. Keep it damp, but not soaked. And hopefully we should see some blueberries. Maybe come back in August if this weather stays. I'll get the next one done up, but that's us. See you guys. <laughs>